Welcome everyone to Abraham Baldwin Agricultural College, better known as ABAC. Home of the Stallions, ABAC thrives as a close-knit small college that provides big opportunities for its students. Located in the heart of South Georgia, in the small town of Tifton, ABAC's gorgeous campus sprawls over 500 acres, including its own golf course, Museum of Agriculture, horse stables, and even its own 1,000-acre forest. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and over the next half hour, we're gonna show you around this beautiful campus to meet real AVAC students, to see the unique hands-on learning environment that they love and how it's preparing them for the rest of their lives. As they say down here, gee haw, and welcome to AVAC. This is the College Tour. I'd like to introduce you to Alicia, a junior majoring in livestock production. Alicia is an animal lover, and she's gonna tell us how the School of Agriculture and Natural Resources at ABAC develops leaders in the field that she loves. Let's hear it, Alicia. Thanks, Alex. As a kid, I didn't know anything about agriculture, but I had the desire to work with animals, which landed me here at ABAC, where every day feels a little more like home. At AVAC, our School of Agriculture and Natural Resources takes pride in the hands-on experiences they provide us. For me, it's important to know your professor and talk to them on a more personal level, which really helps me grasp the material. Labs are eventful, as we not only work with models and replicas, but we also work with the animals from our on-campus beef unit, the horse stables, and our full-functioning AVAC farm. Being hands-on and learning real-world skills while still in school is extremely rewarding. In my reproduction class, we were assigned a group of pregnant cows and heifers. Throughout the semester, we go out and monitor the animals. We report what we notice them going through while preparing to calf. This course teaches us the process of reproduction and the physiology of the reproductive system while providing us a visual aid like no other. Meeting people in the ag industry and making connections prepares you for after graduation. From teaching ag to building golf courses, or if you just love animals like I do, the School of Ag and Natural Resources is the school for you. I am able to love what I learn and talk to people who work with agriculture for a living, making AVAC more than a school, but a home. Jiha from AVAC, and back to you, Alex. I love it, Alicia. Gee haw, back to you. Having those real life experiences as part of your class makes such a difference. There's no doubt why AVAC is known far and wide as a leader in agricultural education and in so many different areas. Nice work. Okay, everyone, let's head over to meet Caitlin. She's a senior from Middleburg, Florida, majoring in agricultural communication. Growing up, Caitlin loved to visit the Georgia Museum of Agriculture in Tifton. Now that Living History Museum is part of ABAC and Caitlin works there. How cool is that? Tell us all about it, Caitlin. Howdy, Alex. One of my earliest childhood memories is traveling to Tifton and visiting the Georgia Museum of Agriculture or the GMA. Coming here sparked my passion for agriculture led me to join the National FFA organization and eventually choose ABAC as my college destination. ABAC is committed to providing everyone with a hands-on learning experience. Students can study at locations like the Forest Lakes Golf Course, the Langdale Teaching Forest, or the GMA, where I work. ABAC being nestled right in the historic Piney Woods of South Georgia makes it the prime location for the GMA. The GMA is an immersive museum and historic village with endless ways to learn about the past, present, and future of agriculture. Since 2010, the museum has served as a living laboratory, providing hundreds of ABAC students with real-world experience to prepare them for the workforce. ABAC also owns a nine-hole golf course and a thousand-acre forest, where students in majors like forestry and turfgrass management can get their hands dirty to learn the things that a textbook just can't teach you. ABAC hires hundreds of student workers each semester. There are jobs available at the bookstore, ABAC's golf course, in the tutoring center, and much more. 
Another unique benefit to being a stallion is keeping your own horse at the stables right here on campus. There are endless ways to get involved, make friends, and enjoy your time. I am forever thankful for the time that I have worked here at the museum. Not only am I graduating career ready, I have also developed some of the best friendships and mentors because of ABAC. From here in the 19th century, Jiha, woe back to you, Alex. Wow, you can bring your horse to college, Caitlin. That is amazing. I love that ABEC has so many opportunities to learn outside of the classroom, its own golf course, its own forest, and that really amazing Museum of Agriculture. Great job, Caitlin. Let's meet Miracle, who's a senior majoring in rural community development. Not only has she worked hard in the classroom, but on campus as well. So she knows that ABAC is one of the best collegiate values around. Miracle, you are on. Thanks for the introduction, Alex. Hello, everyone. After graduating from high school, I really didn't know what I wanted to do. I had a lot of hard decisions to make. I didn't know what to study, nor did I know what college to attend. I decided to come to ABAC because it was affordable, welcoming and provided a sense of community. And honestly, it has been one of the best decisions I've ever made. Attending ABAC has allowed me to step out of my comfort zone and meet so many amazing people. ABAC offers many student jobs and internships. I've been able to work on campus at the Stallion Shop with Upward Bound and ABAC Housing. ABAC is the true definition of community. It's like you've known these people your entire life. On top of work opportunities across campus, ABAC offers tons of financial aid and gives nearly a million dollars each year in scholarships. In addition, ABAC offers in-state tuition to students from Florida, Alabama, Tennessee, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Although I attended ABAC to pursue my education, it has been so much more than just that. Being here has allowed me to grow on a personal level. I found my true self, new hobbies and interests, and potential I never knew I had. Here at ABEC, not only are you prepared for your future, but we have thousands of alumni who are dedicated to making sure students like myself can graduate with as little debt as possible. ABEC guarantees to prepare students for grad school and their future careers. That's all from me, Alex. Take it away. Great job, Miracle. Graduating with little or no debt is music to any parent's ears, and you've set yourself up for success. So after graduation, you can be one of those successful alumni too. Way to go, Miracle. All right, let's meet Alex, who's a sophomore rural community development major who found ABAC all the way from Germany. Even though that's a long way from Tifton, Alex found that getting involved at ABAC made it so much easier to adapt to new surroundings. It's all yours, Alex. Danke, Alex, und was geht? This means, hey, Alex, and what's up, y'all? I'm from Germany, and I've always wanted to come to the US. My dream was to become a professional soccer player. To keep it short, I attended a soccer tryout, I received a soccer scholarship, and now here I am in beautiful Tifton, Georgia. I love that I can combine my education and soccer in one place. The country and culture was new to me, but ABEC events like the annual Fall Festival and Spring Fling, the Truck and Tractor Pool, and our Rodeo, which are just some of the biggest events at ABEC, made it easy to meet people and make friends. Some of my favorite things to do here are, of course, play pickup soccer, but also go bowling in Tifton. This semester, I even started fishing on campus at Lake Baldwin, which I really enjoy. I also love going to the gym. It's so much fun to see your friends, but also great to meet new people around campus. I'm also planning on playing intramural softball this spring, which I'm very excited for since I've never played it before. I became a residence assistant after my first year here. Now, some friends and I even started a new club for internationals to meet peers with similar experiences and learn about different cultures. I learned so much more, not just about American culture, but also about myself. I have made many friends for life, and I'm really grateful for everything I've experienced. I can't wait for what comes next. This is it for me, and catch you later, Alex. Nice cast! 
Wow, I have to brush up on my German, Alex. That was amazing. It sounds like if someone is involved in almost any athletic activity at AVAC or in Tifton, there's a good chance they'll run into you. Thanks so much. Okay, let's meet Bryce. He's a senior agricultural communications major from Perry, Georgia. From the time he arrived on campus, Bryce has been an active leader in several organizations on campus, and he's gonna tell us about the unique traditions that make AVAC so special. Take it away, Bryce. Jeehaw, woe back, and a big old howdy from us here at AVAC. We're excited to have you here, Alex. When I was thinking about college, I knew that I wanted that small town feel. Once I toured ABAC, I knew that I had found a college that would give me a unique and life-changing experience. ABAC is known for its awesome traditions. Some of my favorites are the ABAC Rodeo, the Truck and Tractor Pool, also known as the loudest night on campus, and of course, Homecoming Week, where students and alumni come together to celebrate our alma mater. And let's not forget our most famous tradition and my personal favorite, fried chicken Thursdays. Even our mascot Thunder wouldn't miss one of those. All of these traditions connect stallions all across the country. ABAC students are given the opportunity to do some pretty awesome internships. I've interned with political campaigns, the Alabama Department of Agriculture, and the U.S. House of Representatives. And it's not just internships. ABAC graduates go on to attend prestigious veterinary schools, medical schools, and so much more. From our nation's capital to ranches in Wyoming and everywhere in between, ABAC stallions can be found anywhere. Thanks to ABAC, I've made lifelong friends with students, faculty, and staff. I've discovered new passion and made lasting memories. I have no doubt that ABAC can do the same for you. We hope to see you soon. Take it back, Alex. Wow, Bryce, I can feel the genuine love you have for ABAC, and I'm definitely ready to join you and Thunder for a Fried Chicken Thursday when I come back. I'd like to introduce you to Sarah, a junior nursing major. Sarah grew up in a small town and wanted to go to college somewhere that offered a close-knit community and small class sizes. And she wanted to follow her passion for helping people in the healthcare field. She found it all at ABAC School of Nursing and Health Sciences. Let's go, Sarah. Thanks, Alex. Growing up in a small town, I always loved having that close-knit community and wanted to find a college that felt like home. After taking a tour of ABAC on Stallion Day, I knew I found a place. The ABAC nursing program has opened so many doors for me. The program offers so many great events for us to attend throughout our semesters. Outside the classroom, I serve as the Vice President of the Georgia Association of Nursing Students Club, where we give fellow nursing students a chance to come and listen to guest speakers from all different types of nursing specialties. ABAC also hosts a career fair every fall semester for healthcare students. Here, we get to come and see hospitals from all across the state and see what type of job opportunities they have to offer. Not only has ABAC provided me with the best classmates and lifelong friends, but they have also given me prime examples of what type of nurse I want to be. From time spent studying here to clinical rotations at the local hospital and to hours logged in our simulation lab, ABAC nursing will make sure that you are prepared to save lives. With our smaller class sizes, we are able to have a more personal relationship with our professors, allowing for better communication over the material. When I first started looking for colleges, I had no idea if I would find the place for me, a place that felt like home. Here at ABAC, not only have I found a home, I have found my friends, my mentors, and myself. All right, Alex, that's a long enough study break. Back to the books. Thanks, Sarah. Nursing and health sciences at ABAC is so impressive because it has so many options, and especially in nursing. Getting that individual attention with small class sizes is so important, and you have figured that out. Great job. Let's meet Laura. Her story is a little different because Laura is a high school junior who is earning college credits as a duly enrolled college freshman. And at ABAC, she has found a perfect place to pursue her passion for music. That's one of several departments in the School of Arts and Sciences. Take it away, Laura.
Thank you, Alex. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Edwards Hall. Music is my whole life, and I'm happy to report that this little agricultural college has given me so many opportunities to pursue my passion for music. One of my absolute favorite things about ABAC's music program is how welcoming they are. If you have any interest in music, they'll find you a place to help you expand your musical abilities no matter your major. This past semester, the ABAC Jazz Ensemble gave me the chance to be their vocalist, which was the highlight of my semester and an incredible learning experience. When I'm not in Edwards Hall, you can find me with the school's media production team here in Studio 3. Studio 3 provides all students with access to a fully equipped audio recording booth and TV studio. Working with the studio, I've produced my own show and hosted a campus-wide open mic night. Studio 3 has taught me how to turn my ideas into reality. The School of Arts and Sciences offers everything from music to criminal justice to biology. I can confidently say that no matter your major, no matter your dreams, and no matter where you want to end up in the future, ABAC will welcome you with open arms and guide you towards achieving those goals. I couldn't be prouder to be an ABAC stallion. Lights, camera, and back to you, Alex. And that's a cut on Laura's thing. Nice job, everybody. Wow, Laura, you are one talented young woman and so smart to get a jump start on your college career through dual enrollment. It's great to see that ABAC has so many options so students can find their passion just like you. Thanks a lot. TJ is a sophomore planning to become a teacher. TJ actually grew up right here in Tifton, so he didn't have to look far to find a home in college. Now that he's here, TJ is involved in so many different campus activities. We were just glad to slow him down for a few minutes to tell us all about it. It's all yours, TJ. Thank you for that awesome introduction, Alec. Growing up in the beautiful city of Tifton, I always knew that ABAC was an amazing opportunity for me to grow and become a better member of society. ABAC is known for its prestigious programs in agriculture and nursing. And when I first arrived here, I thought that was the track I had to take. But when I got to campus and met with my advisor, she showed me all different programs that I could find interest in and that would allow me to grow. On campus, we are home to over 60 different clubs and student organizations, including multiple fraternities and sororities. Fortunately, I have the honor of leading a few of those campus clubs, like Residence Hall Association and our peer support group. I'm also a part of the Campus Activity Board. We plan huge events for our students, so if you see stuffed bears in the meadows or arcade games in the library, that's probably us. Every semester, ABAC hosts a club rush event where each club and organization comes together to showcase all the amazing things they have to offer and recruit new members. You can also stay active by joining one of our intramural sports teams, hitting the gym and Thrash Wellness Center, or just enjoying some time by the water at our heated Foundation Legacy Pool. When I'm not having fun with friends on campus, I'm actively pursuing my dreams to become a teacher. With the skills that I'm learning in my clubs and organizations, I am confident that I will have a fun and engaging class for my future students. Thanks for listening, everyone, and Alex, take it back. Great job, TJ. You've proven that there is something for everyone who wants to get involved on campus. That's such a huge part of the college experience and a great way to meet people and learn more about your own interests. Thanks so much. Let's head over to Daniel, a senior majoring in business. ABAC Stafford School of Business has produced graduates who have pursued careers all over the country, and Daniel found it was just the right fit for him. Take it away, Daniel. What's going on, peeps? Let me tell you why I chose to come here to ABAC. Now, ABAC has students from all over the world, but I grew up right down the road, and I knew that this was the place I wanted to be. Now, the college experience is all about what you do and the people you meet along the way. Like most freshmen, when I started college, I was shy and didn't want to come out of my shell. But a special shout out goes to the Stafford School of Business and ABAC housing team for building my confidence and helping me grow as a business professional. One of my favorite places to hang out is the student lounge at Lewis Hall, which is home to the ABAC's business school. Whether networking with fellow business students, developing professional skills, or making plans to pursue an MBA, 
All ABAC's faculty and staff are here to help you become the person you want to be. In addition to the business school, working as an RA that has helped me apply what I have learned. As an RA, I love creating events for the residents on campus, like the Fall Festival, Spring Fling, and so many more. Another major benefit is forming a new relationship with the students who live on campus. Whether it's playing sports, socializing, hosting events, the job is just a vibe. Let me start right there before I give my whole life story. But that's my time at ABAC in a nutshell. Now, how about we give Alec some more screen time? Thanks, Daniel, but I have to tell you, I can't imagine you as shy in any way. You found your groove as a business student and as a resident assistant, and I can tell you love being right in the middle of the action. Keep up the great work. We're now gonna introduce you to Carly, a senior biology major who is also on the AVAC softball team. AVAC has a great tradition in athletics, and Carly will tell us how she's pursuing her dream of becoming a veterinarian while getting it done on the diamond. So Carly, I'm throwing it over to you. You're on. Nice throw, Alex. It's a pleasure to be here. Growing up, I always knew that I wanted to be a veterinarian. When it was time to pick a school, I wanted to find a college that would allow me to play softball and still pursue my dream. The coaches here at AVAC told me that I could do just that. When I came on a campus tour, I knew AVAC was home for me. Playing softball at AVAC has been one of the best decisions I have made thus far in my life. From 5 a.m. runs to singing at the top of our lungs on long bus rides and cheering on from the dugout, my teammates and coaches quickly became my family. Girls who were once strangers will now undoubtedly be lifelong friends of mine thanks to this round yellow ball. The athletic teams here at AVAC are unlike any other. From baseball and golf to tennis and cross country, you can always count on another stallion to be cheering you on in the stands. One of the coolest parts about AVAC is that all of our athletic fields are located right next to one another. Oftentimes, we would cheer on the women's soccer team while having afternoon practice. There's no greater feeling in the world for a team than knowing that we are a part of something much bigger than ourselves. To say I am thankful that God saw fit for me to come to ABAC would be the understatement of a lifetime. Now, from all of the sports teams here at ABAC, heads up, Alex. Oh my gosh. Whoa, I'm feeling the love from all of AVAC's athletic teams. It is evident that the AVAC teams have found success in sticking together. I hope there's plenty of room left in that trophy case. Great job, Carly. All right, y'all, how awesome is AVAC? Thanks so much to all these fantastic stallions and fillies for giving their time so you can learn more about their school that they love so much. Y'all have heard of Southern hospitality, right? Well, you can see and feel it here in Tifton, Georgia and at ABAC. That's it for me. I hope you check out ABAC for yourself. You'll see it truly is a small college with big opportunities. Okay, take care everyone. I hope to see you on campus real soon. Cheers.